Larry, we're here at the uh, the Player of the Year Awards, and, and you've had a pretty successful night, five awards in total. Yeah, um, yeah, proud sort of moment. Yeah, nice um, to sort of be recognised and win an award like this. We just mentioned then that I haven't won that yet, so um, yeah, it's a really uh, great achievement. I'm grateful to everyone who's helped me um, to get to that point, like the players, the team, um, the staff. Um, all the coaches and stuff and and yeah it's just um yeah really really nice sort of way to i don't know well like sort of reflect on the season and yeah to so yeah i mean you're not a big headed or arrogant character i know that harry but did you sort of know that you'd had a decent season yeah you sort of, you, yeah you, you're not a full like you know you've had a, a decent season i still think I, there's a lot more to come as well like i, I, I wasn't i think when sort of i don't know good things are happening it during the season I'm always like focused on the next thing that's me I don't like sit back on anything like that I still want to keep pushing so maybe I don't like celebrate it um, enough but um, like I say this sort of end of the season awards you, you sort of don't think about it at all until it comes around and then you're like um, so yeah it was just nice like there could have been there was a lot of contenders in my opinion and like there's a few awards so I didn't know if it was going to be um, dished out like that um, but no yeah it's just sort of great I don't know, almost appreciation, appreciation, or like, like sort of satis satisfaction, if if uh, that makes sense. Yeah, no, yeah, that's true. Um, and and the gaffer said that you're, you know, you run the most, you know, run the hardest in training. You always put your put your effort in, and I think that's where the fans realise that and appreciate it. Yeah. A grafter. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think you have to to sort of be successful. There might be other people that think otherwise, but I think that's. Um, that that's literally what you got to do to sort of get the rewards, and it's just nice that um, like it's paid off, and it has been over the last couple of seasons almost. And uh, like I say, there's still a lot more to come from me as well, which I, I hope can sort of excite the fans um, as well. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to everyone who's voted. Um, you see it now, the support that you get at, like recent, like over the last two years, like everyone's like gives you a big lift and stuff, and. Obviously, it works in the other way if you're not doing so well. But um, yeah, we've sort of it was a good way to look back at the season and and sort of almost close it off. I know we've got another game um, and we want to finish in a high high spot that we haven't um, for a while um, as high as, as possible. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, really nice night and a, a proud moment for me. And it was good. Some of the fans have been there. I was just speaking like from when I was 18 as, as well, and they, they were like itching me to break into the first team. And then to do that and then to win like start winning awards and stuff it's um yeah a good thing and it was great to speak to them uh, after it as well yeah and, and it must be nice for you this season you've chipped in with, with quite a few goals as well most of them away from home yeah it that's a, like yeah. How, it, how it is yeah um it was quite similar last season as well i think i only scored two out of the seven at home as well so yeah that's something i definitely want to improve on i want to get more goals at home um but yeah um like you say that that's it's it's been an improvement, like someone said, oh, it's definitely your best season. And I was like, yeah, but that's sort of what it should be. I'm sort of improving, I'm getting older. So um, you like to think each season you will improve. So that that's good. Um, and, and that's what gets me excited for next season as well. Yeah, and obviously the cup run this season was without a doubt the high, one of the highlights. Yeah. And you played your part in that. I remember yeah. distinctly the goal at Kenilworth Road. Yeah. Uh, losing 2-1 Luton Town and the crowd were all yeah. on, on top of us and it looked like it was just going to be well how many are Luton going to win yeah. by now but then you, you got that flick off Danny Olsen yeah. it, and, and got the goal almost immediately after that Luton second Luton yeah goal. literally like um, I think at the time I didn't realise it was literally straight from kick off like it was literally within within seconds and I just found myself there and yeah that's I think that's why it was all uh, raw emotion like that and with Emo's emotion <laughs> as well you can obviously tell as well <laughs> he was right there to uh, capture it but yeah that that was sort of like I say the lads probably thought the same when we when we conceded 2-1 and then all of a sudden we were back 2-2 and give us a massive lift so yeah it's um, yeah FA Cup is obviously what everyone's going to look at and the highlight of the season and I, and I just say whatever happens in my career um, I've sort of being part of history at Grimsby Town Football Club as uh, an academy lad, which is like just massive, really, and that's something I can almost be satisfied. Obviously, I want to do a lot more, but in terms of that, um, yeah, you, you can't argue with that, and I've done all, like done part of what I wanted to do. So, 
yeah, great exposure for you, Harry, individually as well. National media were yeah. interested, weren't they? I remember the clip of you, at, was it the Newcastle game when you was a kid? Before the, yes. Before the game, yeah, I you think. Know, you're, you're, yeah. you're one of us. That's what. Yeah. That's how well, I think um, there's obviously I did quite a lot of interviews from basically yeah after Cambridge so there's Burton and obviously it was the 200th appearance so there was a lot of interviews and it was like next round we've got loot and so it was interviews thinking oh that's probably going to be the last bit and then we get through to the next round so it's like trying to make a story and obviously that Harry Haddocks went that way as well <laughs> didn't it and I think people got tired of each round it was about Harry Haddocks because I think people didn't expect us to thought that was just going to be the story and then obviously we beat loot and beat Southampton so um but yeah, yeah, definitely, it's great. Not just for me, for the other lads, for the club in itself. Uh, we can, yeah, we've sort of made a story this season, and yeah, it's been brilliant. And um, I hope it's something that fans can be proud of, proud of the club that that we we did that and we was part of that last eight in the FA Cup, which is um, yeah huge, and that's something that will live for me forever. And just touching on like we had that Q and A as well. It was sort of, I think I'll probably more reflect on it now because during the season, obviously. You, you're buzzing after the game but then you know you've got a, a game like like what they mentioned with the Carlisle stuff so you sort of don't get to fully sort of reflect on it and enjoy it so I'll be looking forward to sort of that at the end of the season and just going through a few bits and stuff so yeah that'll be nice Yeah you've got the Tunnels game that was the Burton game yeah. wasn't it so what's that about 580 behind John's yeah, yes so, I yeah, know um, yeah it was funny the lads were, were talking about it I think it was the next day or something I worked out I'd have to play like about 50 games for the next 12 years or something something ridiculous like that to, to even get close to it I think something like that which is um, crazy to be fair but I always remember um, Mac he, he messaged me I think towards when I made my first football league de at debut, he said, "Oh, d don't catch me!" Or so, something like something cheat like that. And um, yeah, I always remember him like congratulating me on stuff and saying, "Oh, I better watch out and that." But um, yeah, I think uh, I need a lot of luck for that to happen. And what's the aim next season, Harry? Um, just constant improvements. Um, like say the, I got seven goals. That I'm not that like, it's just on goals, but I got seven goals. Um, Last season um, in the National League, so it was it. I wanted to improve on that, and uh, I have. So yeah, it's just constant improvement for myself and the team. So I think we'll definitely look at the where we finished in the league or where we might finish in the league with one game left, um, and want to definitely improve on that. I think we've had a as a as a team as everyone had like that feel going to League Two and, and knowing um, what we need to sort of improve on and and believing we can I think we've been competitive to a lot of teams that are up there as well we've just not done it on a consistent basis so yeah that's that's the aim to always improve your individual performance and um, if you can um, get a few more sort of percentage out of all the lads around you as well that's that's a big thing as well cheers Harry thank you cheers well, thank, thank you, you.